Hi awesome grade threes, welcome back to your weekly Indonesian lesson. This week we will be learning about the durian and the durian in Southeast Asia is known as the king of the fruits. Our learning focus today is we are learning about the unique Indonesian tropical fruit, the durian, and we are learning to use information from a range of sources about the durian to answer a range of questions. Our success criteria today is I can reflect on the unique Indonesian tropical fruit, the durian, and I can use information, both written and video, to answer questions related to the durian. So today, you're going to be using a graphic organiser, a note-taking graphic organiser, to collect the information you learn about the durian today. So while I read you the information and while you listen to the video, I want you to take notes using this. Now, you can either draw this up in your Indonesian book or you can use the PDF file that I have attached to the Edmodo post for today's lesson and print it off. And while you listen to the information, I want you to um, take notes on the main idea, the key vocab that you hear, what are some important bits of information that we need to know, and what is a summary? What, what things did we get out of learning about the durian today? And also the source there. So when we talk about the source, we don't talk about the source we put on a sausage, we talk about the source as in where do we get the information from. So it was a video and it was information. So if you want to now pause the video so you can get your note-taking sheet ready, you can do that now. So either draw it up in your book or print it off from the PDF in the Edmodo post. Let's continue. I'm going to read to you now the information on the durian. The durian is an evergreen plant that belongs to the Kapok tree family. There are 30 species of durian and they originate from Southeast Asia. Nine of these species are okay for the human diet for us to eat. Despite being on the menu for centuries, durian is still one of the most mysterious and intriguing fruits because of its divine taste and its horrible smell. A durian is a big fruit with a strong smell and a hard shell with, th with sharp thorns. Its flavour is loved by some people, especially in Southeast Asia, where the people name it King of Fruits because of its high nutrients. It looks like it's wearing a crown, the stem, and it has a unique smell and taste. Many hotels and public transportation systems do not let people carry durians because of the strong smell, which may, may many people do find unpleasant. Durian's flavour has been compared to custards or almonds. There are many different kinds of durians and many different people like certain ones but then don't like others. And this means the cost of them can vary. The fruit can grow for up to 30 centimetres long and 15 centres in diameter. And it usually weighs about one to three kilograms. Durians are a tropical fruit and they grow only in the humid hot places. The flesh is used in many dishes in Southeast Asia, and the seed can also be eaten and cooked as well. They actually uh, grow durians up in the Northern Territory. Let's keep moving. Okay, we're going to watch a clip now on the durian, so watch closely. This is the world's smelliest fruit. Oh my god. And this is an unsuspecting tourist trying durian for the first time. No good. <laughs> Durians are banned from public transport and hotels in many parts of Southeast Asia. This is Thomas Fuller, the Southeast Asia correspondent for the New York Times. I'm in the minority of foreigners who finds durian a wonderful and delicious fruit. But my efforts to convince others of durian's unique texture and complex taste have largely failed. They're put off by the stink. <laughs> it smells very bad. Yeah, uh, it smells very, very bad. Do we really have to try or not? Feeling outnumbered, I needed some hefty durian lovers on my side. I decided to travel to northern Thailand, where I delivered the fruit to an animal renowned for its sense of smell. If any creature should be put off by the world's smelliest fruit, it should be elephants. Not these elephants. 
I gained a newfound respect for the giant beasts when I saw them devouring every last part of it, even the painfully spiky husks. To further my knowledge of durians, I traveled to a very special orchard two and a half hours north of Bangkok, where I hoped I could taste rare varieties. I was not disappointed. Chatri Sawanachokun owns the orchard. It's a durian lover's shrine. เอ่อเราเกิดอ่ามีรสอร่อยเกิดความแตกต่างแล้วเราเราก็จะรู้สึกรักถึงการเจริญเติบโตนี้ไม่ต้องพูดถึงฮะเพราะว่าการที่อย